everyone! Today I want to share with you my design team project for Miss Garden Grove 1 on Etsy and I will have all the links to Miss Garden Grove 1 in the description box below uh, to the Etsy shop, the Facebook page, to Pinterest and to Annie's blog and I also have a discount code for you and it's Leonie 91011 and these are all capital letters and it gives you a 10% discount and I will show you the items that I used on my project and I loved working with these colors. I love uh, black combined with the pastel colors. And the first beautiful lace that I used on my project is this one right here. Love the design. And it's pretty wide. So the next beautiful lace that I used on my project is this one right here. And I cut one of the flowers with the two leaves absolutely love this lace as well and the other beautiful black lace that I used is this one right here and I also used this lace right here I have one piece left love this lace as well and I also used some of these shabby rosettes with this shabby rosette trim and let me pull one a little bit bigger like this I absolutely love this rosette trim and here's the back side and last but not least I absolutely love this gorgeous bridal lace I used a piece of this one right here and it's in a beautiful baby pink color so uh, I altered a book box and it looked like this before I purchased it at a local store and it's to keep some photos in so I altered this one and this is how the book box turned out and I painted it first with black acrylic paint and then I went over the edges with some Inca gold in the platinum color the paper line that I used is the Primrose Tech that was gifted to me by my sweet friend Rena Myers. Thank you so much Rena. And here you can see the beautiful black lace that I used. And this is the pink shabby rosette trim. And I adhered some smaller black shabby rosettes from my stash in the center. Let me hold it like this so the light hopefully catches it better. And this is the front side of my book box and these letters are also from any shop and I absolutely love these resin letters. They're all really small roses and it spells out love like so. And uh, here's the image. Uh, I got the image from Pinterest and here's my flower cluster and here's a piece of that um, beautiful black lace that I showed you. Let me grab it. <laughs> it's this one right here and I adhered it underneath my flowers and here's the black lace that I showed you which reminds me of a chandelier and here I have some flowers from my stash and I stickled them with the stardust stickles and I absolutely love this image and here are some of the beaded lacy leaves that I created and here I have some more flowers from my stash and they're all stickled and it opens like this and on the inside I have a beautiful or a piece of the beautiful black lace right here and this butterfly is also from any shop it's a beautiful baby pink with all the sequins or not sequins rhinestones I'm sorry love this butterfly and in the pocket I have a tag and I fussy cut this from the paper collection. It's a spot for journaling. And here you can do some more journaling or place a picture here. So this is a really nice pocket. And this is the inside. Let me remove this accordion mini album. And I covered it with some more paper from the collection. And here's the beautiful baby pink bridal lace from any shop. And 
the book box holds this accordion mini album and I was inspired for this by Cynthia and she's the scrappy bookworm one here on YouTube and she has a tutorial on how to create these accordion mini albums so I will put the link to her tutorial in the description box below thank you so much for the inspiration Cynthia and um, I created mine is um, 7 uh, centimeters by 14 centimeters so it's 2 and 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and a half inches to fit inside the box and I fussy cut some more from the paper collection and I adhered some flat back pearls from my stash and here I have some flowers from my stash and some more of the beaded lacy leaves that I created and I tied it with some seam binding and the seam binding goes all the way around this is the back side and here are the first two pages I created a pocket and I did some more fussy cutting and it holds this tag and a photo can be placed right here and here's another spot for a photo and I used some washi tape and some more flat back pearls from my stash and here's the next one I have a paper clip here and I used some of the tool that comes from this uh, shabby rosette trim I kept it and then I adhered it to the paper clip and here's just another journaling spot and place for a photo I absolutely love this paper and here's the next page with some more washi tape and I adhered the tag but I didn't adhere it all the way so a photo can be tucked behind here and here's the next page I created a belly band and I have another tag from the paper collection and here I have I fussy cut some more from the paper collection and I just adhered it uh, on this side so a tag can go behind there as well and then this is the back side and then you flip it like this and I did some more fussy cutting and here you can put the date and here I adhered another tag from the collection and something can tuck behind there as well and I have some more washi tape and these are the last two pages with another tag fussy cut from the paper line and here's another pocket that I created and I have some more of the beautiful black lace from any shop with another spot for journaling so this is my accordion mini and I absolutely love creating this mini album it's um, it's not really hard to make and they do not take a lot of time and I think it's a really nice gift to go inside a box because they are not too bulky so I hope you like my project thank you so much Annie for having me in your design team I really enjoyed creating with all your beautiful laces and trims and embellishments and this was my last DT project for Annie and like I said I really enjoyed it and I hope you like my projects as well um, I will have some pictures at the end of this video I want to thank you all so much for watching I hope you are all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time bye bye